Hello everyone. I am Gary. <laughs> father, <laughs> father of the bride. And until not so long ago, the most important man in the When Lindsay was very young, she loved this series of books about Tom and his best friend. A toy monkey called Pippo. <laughs> Near the end of the book, Tom's dad suggested Tom ride the sledge down a small hill. Tom was scared, so dad went with him. After the first go, Tom was now feeling brave and declared, Going on a sledge is really very easy. I don't need daddy. Whenever I read that bit, Lindsay would always look at me and say, I always need daddy. I always dreaded the day when she didn't need me anymore. Well, now she's got Jack. And Jack is... <laughs> Shall we say, still finding his feet with regards to DIY, but I can honestly say that when we first met, met Jack, I didn't dislike him as much as I thought I would. <laughs> I can't properly put into words just how proud we are and how much we love the amazing, beautiful person that she is, that you are, Lindsay. And I'd like to thank you, Jack, for making our daughter so happy. And she clearly makes you happy. You really are a perfect match. that she find those hidden places in another person, even the ones they didn't know were there, even the ones they wouldn't have thought to call these things. Lindsay, as I take you to be my wife. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To honour and respect you. To honour and respect you. I will care for you. Laugh with you when you're happy. Laugh with you when you're happy. Comfort you when you are sad. Comfort you when you are sad. And whatever life may bring. I will always love you. I will always love you. I will always love you. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other, underground, and when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find they are one tree and not two. Lindsay, I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And as a lasting reminder. And as a lasting reminder. Of the promises we have made here today. The promises we have made here today. Jack, I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And as a lasting reminder. And as a lasting reminder. Of the promises we have made here today. Of the promises we have made here today. Firstly, thank you so much everyone for coming today. One of the loveliest things I found about the whole wedding preparation time is the love and enthusiasm that surrounds you, whether it's family, friends, work colleagues or complete strangers. It's been so lovely to see all of you and to see and chat with all the most important people in our lives, so thank you very much. My mum and dad are the most dedicated, selfless, generous and amazing parents and they raised Ollie and me with complete, unconditional love and support. I know that's made me who I am today and I hope that I can bring that into my marriage and the family that Jack and I will have together. Today I haven't just gained a husband, but also my second family, the wonderful Fee and Jeff, my sister and brother-in-law, Alice and Joan, plus lots of other lovely people. The first time I saw Jack and Lindsay, I, I, 
I thought this day was probably going to be coming. Around Lindsay Jack was, he was comfortable and he was surprisingly doting. And above all else, he was happy constantly. And I've seen that every single time that Jack and Lindsay have been together. I'd like to raise a toast to my wonderful brother, my beautiful new sister-in-law, the bride and groom. Let's talk about my wife. As you know, but others may not, I fell for you pretty much as soon as I met you. You started Devonlands while I was uh, away at a music festival in Portugal. When I came back, there was a new face sitting right next to me. This face, I mean, I didn't stand a chance. It did take us a good while to get together after he magically returned to life from his holiday. But after all, it turned out Jack was exactly my kind of person. He became my person and my best friend. You're just the best, most brilliant person I've ever met. And I'm so lucky to have been able to spend the last six years with you, my best friend. And uh, I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Thank you for being here. Thank you for loving me. I love the life that we've built together. And I can't wait for what's next. I love you.